Hi, how are you guys today? Today I'm going to present to you two segments in HL7 transaction. The first one will be the event and the second one it will be the patient demographic segment. And let me start by zooming on the information so you will be able to see it. All right. So we will start with the event segment for today. The first field, it will be the message trigger. And in this case, it's A05. And from looking to the MSH segment, we can say that it is an ADT transaction with A05. A05 is a registration for the patient. So the patient got registered with this transaction. The second field in the event segment is the date on time when the transaction took place or when the event took place, which is the registration. So at this date, they registered the patient, which is the 2017, 03, it's March, and 08, it's 8th of March, at hour 13, minute 1, and second 31. The rest of the information here, as you can see, it depends and will change according to your organization and how they set up their system and their interface because all the components or all the fields in the event segment are not required. So whatever you put there, it depends on your site and how they want to design their interface connection. Let's move on and go to the PID segment, which is the patient demographic segment. And the PID segment is very important because it has a lot of required field. It has a lot of patient demographic information. And we will start with the key information of PID3. Usually it is the medical record number for the patient. And as you can see in this example, PID2 and PID4 are the same repeated information with a minor changes and these changes will be used for the interface setup depends on your site and organization PID 5 is the patient name and it start with the last name then the first name and then PID 7 is the date of birth of the patient starting with the year 2012 then the month 01 and then the day 10th of January, hour 10, and the minute 41. PID 8 is the gender of the patient. PID 10 is the indicator of the patient type, in this case, one. So the one you can uh, set it up in your system or on your database, if it's a Cerner or it's a, an EPIC or any other medical record system to translate the one to inpatient or outpatient or whatever you want to design it. The PID 11, it has the address for the patient. And if we scroll also on the components for the PID 11, so we can see the details here, PID 11. This is the street address, then the city, then the state, then the zip code, then the country. And that's all what can be held in this field. PID 13, it's the phone number of the patient. PID 15, it's the language that's been used for the patient. PID 16 is the marriage status, and in this case, single. PID 18 is a very important piece of information which has the financial number for the patient visit, or the FIN number, or they can call it the account number for that patient visit. PID 19, it's the social security number, and the rest of the information in the PID segments are configurable depending on the interface and your site. So the most key information is the PID 18, because PID 18 is the account, and the PID 3 is the medical record number. These two pieces of, our, of information are required usually to match your patient in the database to make sure that the transaction will update the correct patient record. That's all what we have today. Thank you very much for taking the time to see this video. I hope that you enjoy it. Until next time.